All right. Um, we no injuries to talk about. Um, listen, our fans were unbelievable today. Um, uh, I think you know we had more fans than, than maybe what the Texans had, and it was great to see all that red. And I think that helped us with the support down the down that uh, overtime. Um, listen, I, I uh, it was a weird game. Uh, my hat goes off to Lovey for the great job in which he's done uh, here. I mean, you, you've seen it the last two weeks. It's a it's a hard job. Uh, and it takes time as a head coach. And Lovey, uh, you know, my, my word of advice is just give him time. He he's a tremendous football coach. I've had a chance to compete against him for a number of years, and uh, just rock solid uh, football team. Um, the thing I was proudest about our guys was they kept playing. <clears throat> they didn't let anything. <clears throat> excuse me. They didn't let anything uh, uh, hinder them. Uh, you know, whether it was calls, whether it was. Uh, fumbles, you know, whatever. They, 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 they kept playing. And defensively, I thought that was a, a real strength. Um, and then Frank at the end, that relentless pursuit, uh, making a play like he did. Uh, Willie getting under the pile there and, <clears throat> and get, making sure we got that football in hand. Um, and then offensively, uh, you know, between Pat and Kels and um, Pacheco and McKinnon, I mean, uh, they had a great day. I, um, Quez's catch before half, I thought, was was phenomenal. Um, so just all around, a uh, good um, a good fight. We we got to do better in the penalty area, uh, turnover area. We've got to make sure we we, we fix this. Um, but we'll we'll get back on that. The important thing is. Uh, that we won the game, and they're, they're tough to get in this league. So we're going to enjoy this one and uh, on the way home, and, and then we'll get ready for a good Seattle team coming in on Christmas Eve. So time's yours. <clears throat> like sure. You know what? The guys are fired up. I mean, um, that's a hard-hitting group, uh, football team. They know that our, our team knew they were well coached. And I, I mentioned it to you guys, I mentioned it to the team that <clears throat> you, you, you can't, in today's world, in the NFL, uh, records, you can't go by the record. Uh, the, uh, the, everything is so close, the parity, and you're off by like a fingertip catch or maybe a penalty or a turnover. I mean, it's just one thing. It's never been where there have never been so many close games as there is right now that have been determined by one score. So, um, you and the tape tells you the story. You put on the tape, and we knew it was going to be a battle. We, we just we felt that going in. And uh, like I said, a well coached team with, with good players. And so, um, it was important that we you know, we kept going through four quarters. What's going on with uh, Harrison Butker? <clears throat> Yeah, you know what? Being a kicker is a little bit like being a batter, and sometimes you, you get into a slump. But he's a he's a great one, and he'll get through it, and then um, he'll come out of it uh, even better than what he was. But we just got you got to keep kicking, and uh, and that's uh, that's what we're going to do with him. Coach, you mentioned Isaiah uh, had the early fumble. What was your message to him? Yeah, just keep your eyes up. He, he kind of put his head down, and and they were able to get underneath that. Uh, just keep your eyes up. You have a better chance of hanging on to that thing. Uh, he had two hands on it, so you know he, he did good there. But uh, sometimes when you bend over like that, they can they can get you. So. you have to trust him, you have to put him back in. Yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Late in the fourth quarter, you got the ball with about five minutes left. I know you don't want to give a ton of time back to Houston. Just what was the thought process? Were you yeah. just hoping to get the field over? Were you comfortable? Um, I was hoping we scored a touchdown. I mean, honestly, I. The way things were going back and forth, and and some some of the calls that were going on, I just had felt like we needed to make sure we, you know, we, we scored a touchdown. So, you know, it didn't work out that way. Um, but, you know, if we had to kick it, I was okay there too. So I mean, I, I wasn't. That can be taken two different ways, Nate. I, I wasn't saying that. Yeah, right. Yeah. And you mentioned the turnovers being an issue. This is nine games. And yeah. One turnover. Just yeah. Ridiculous. You can't. You can't have that. Right. The guys know that. Uh, nobody tries to turn it over, but uh, you got to do the best you can and um, hang on to the football and take care of the football if it's, if it's quarterback. But, you know, 
we did we did a good job with that. Yeah, sure. Uh, you got to work your fundamentals and techniques, and then you got to trust them. So, when you're out there, and and uh, that's what we'll do. I mean, that's the simplest, simplest story. You saw Pat and what he did. I mean, he he took care of business today, and um, he went back to work and and worked on it. I mean, you're talking about a guy that if he, if he's not the MVP in the league, I'm not sure you know what's wrong with it. But I mean, he but he cleaned it up and comes out and uh, you know we have almost 500 yards of offense. Minus 100 penalties, but it was, um, you know, that's a pretty spectacular day there. So, but that's what he did. I mean, great example of how you go back to the drawing board and make sure that you you, you clean everything up. One of the things that he talked about last week about the great reception was cleaning it up. What's that say about, you know, about what he, what he was able to do today with no turnovers and putting the team in position? Yeah, just what, you know, I'd just repeat what I said. Be simple for it. Just. Yeah. Well, number one, you see how this team, the the heart that they play with, and then two, the the defense is tremendous. I mean, he, he's got he's he's running, and I presume it looks that way, and um, and they do just some good stuff uh, on that. Offensively, they're creative. They're banged up a little bit. See, the injuries kind of can get you there, but um, he, he's. Uh, I, I look at the scheme. Uh, of of the offense and defense and how they do on special teams and they're right there you know they're right there to get over that hump and the, the, this type of game helps them uh, the Cowboys game helps them and uh, uh, the, they will they'll get over the hump and and uh, and be right there for you next year yeah very creative very creative uh, <clears throat> and you have to prep for two different looks, um, so they're, they're different. They're different offenses there. I thought our guys did okay with that part, and you know, we, we shot ourselves a little bit with the penalties. That's what. That's where we got into trouble on third down in that. So, I get off the field, but I thought we handled that decent. All right, we're gonna go around <clears throat> and start with that. Andy, another AFC West championship. Anything stand out to you about this this one? And I told the guys my hat goes off to them. So, I mean, that was a that was a, a way to fight through it. And there, there's a you know there's a certain uh, it, you know you've set a certain level, and these all these new guys come in. They're going, hey man, we got to win, we got to win this thing. And uh, you know there's an additional pressure on that. But just to get through it, you could see that was a that was a positive thing. And then you can sail from there. So it's a uh, uh, you got that done, and now you just go go do your thing. Yeah, go play. Yeah, so that's a new rule that came in uh, last year. You guys can look it up. It's complicated, um, but yeah, contact and uh, and then forward progression and all that. I mean, there's a couple different things that go into it, but you can look at, look at it. I, they were right. I mean, they were they were. Yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a new rule that hasn't. It'll be the first time I've seen it. So. Last two. Yeah, it's tremendous because everybody has a piece of this. You know, so that's uh, even you guys, man. I mean, it's it's exciting for you. You get to uh, cover a team that that wins, and you you got something to say about it, which is good. And that's uh and that's the way it is with the organization. I mean, it starts with, with Clark, and we all kind of work down from there. And um, you know, he gives us an opportunity to win, which uh, that's not the case everywhere. Last one, Andy. I believe all ten rookies you drafted are on the active roster. Um, can you explain what it's like to coach a roster that is obviously veteran laden championship aspiration and trying to bring rookies along? Sort of that conflict within the two as you're trying to get those even. Yeah, well, you're gonna have some hiccups with with the young guys, um, but they they play their tail off and go 100 miles an hour. Um, so you can live with that because they're gonna make some plays that are big time plays, and then there's gonna be a mistake here or there. But um, it pays off for you down the road after they get through all this, and uh, and, and they've progressively gotten better 
as the season has gone on. And then we've got enough veterans in there that can help help them with uh, that peer part of it that you get, you know. Um, so, and our guys are good with that. Our veteran guys are real good with that. All right, thank you, Coach. Okay. Thank you. Yep, thank you.